Hey Earth Signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, those cross-watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Today we're going to take a look at and see what's new, okay, what's next in love for you, what's new in the areas of your love life, who's coming towards you, what will your next major relationship be like, what will they be like, will it last, does it have staying power, we'll try and get as much information as we can. There's also going to be a part two to this reading, which is going to dive deeper into the messages that we're going to pick up in part one. And that will be made via the extension link below, just where the description box is underneath the video. I'm also offering personalized tarot readings, so if you're interested, please feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address will also be listed here, just below the video. Okay, so with all of that being said, let's go ahead and begin. Okay, you've got some wonderful cards here and some really interesting messages here. Wow, I love that the sun here has appeared twice in your reading. In fact, the, the halo that kind of wraps around the angel's head here could also be a reference to the sun. If you want to look at it as that, right? Um, wow, okay. For those of you that are currently going through something, like if you're going through a dark night of the soul or if you're going through some emotional turbulency, if things just haven't been working out for you, I'm here to tell you that things are going to be looking up for you, okay? You will get a, you know, after every dark night, there is a brighter day here. You will have, I feel like you have so much to look forward to. You have so much happiness that is coming in your way. You've got a potential new beginning with someone or a new romantic chapter, a new energy that's coming into your life and they're going to bring so much joy and so much happiness into their world just as you'll be injecting a lot of happiness into theirs. So if things aren't looking so great right now, I feel like it's important for you to know and take comfort in the fact that things are going to be so much better. You are not where you are right now, okay? Where you are right now is only temporary, is only a stepping stone to where you need to get to and I feel like there's just so much to look forward to. This is the universe coming together, okay? I feel like you're not seeing it now, but trust me, behind the scenes, behind the curtains, the universe is working tirelessly to make sure everything is coming together for you. This is joy, happiness, harmony. You're going to be in such a, such a more healthier and such a more happier position here than you would have ever imagined here. Okay, so... I'm seeing that there's going to be a positive new energy in your life that's going to bring in a lot of positivity and a lot of radiant energy into your life. This person is going to bring you a lot of joy, a lot of happiness here. And I feel like this is someone who always looks on the bright side and therefore they're going to be injecting a lot of positivity, a lot of optimism in your life here. Um, you'll really radiate with this person. Okay, This is someone who I feel like You've never had this type of a connection or you'll never experience, you've not quite experienced these type of feelings before because I feel like this is someone who's going to bring such a warmth and such a joy into your life. And this is someone who I feel like you're going to be able to share your happiness and your highest qualities and your achievements with. This is someone whom you're totally going to be radiating and even friends or connecting energies around you are going to be telling you that you're glowing because your face will just light up every time you see them. And... Um, and I feel like if if you are listening to this and you're going through something, you're going through a difficult time, I feel like it's important for you to know that the sun is bringing you things that you've been waiting for. New beginnings, letting go of old emotional um, baggages, old emotional patterns, letting go of connecting energies, exes, people that no longer serve you positively, okay? And the things that you've been waiting for, 
are coming your way and the things that you're currently experiencing or you're going through, they, they are going to get better here. So I feel like you had to grow through what you've been going through and I feel like it's definitely um, made you a lot more stronger and a lot more powerful here. The sun connects to your power, so it's not an energy that feels fear-driven, it's not an energy that feels egotistical, it's an abundant inner radiating energy here that I feel like you'll be stepping into, or you might already find yourself there here. Um, so definitely try and use that power in a very positive way here. I feel like there's such a wonderful sense of good health as well for you. I feel like you're going to be in such a better place emotionally, mentally here. I feel like I'm seeing an increase in physical energy for you, vitality and general positivity here. I'm seeing you're letting go of emotional baggage here. You're finally going to put yourself onto a path where you're ready to move on. And you know what? You're not even looking behind. You're not even looking back behind you because whatever it is that you're letting go of you're ready to do that you're so ready to let go of this person you're so ready to let go of the pain and the hurt that they caused you here and you're moving away from that emotional turbulency you're moving on from those tumultuous situations and you're stepping into you're sailing towards smooth calm seas here so i feel like you're stepping into a much more happier and healthier version of yourself here okay the fact that the son the child has come up here and the fool they're both messages of innocence and i feel like the universe is inviting for you to it's calling out your inner child to come out and play okay so make sure you're open and receptive because i do feel like there's someone wonderful coming in for you it feels like a strong water energy pisces cancer or scorpio this person feels very playful very youthful very energetic here someone who i feel like is very innocent a little bit naive here but that someone who's very carefree and i feel like this person is going to help you let go of your worries let go of any heartbreaks or concerns um, I'm also seeing that I feel like this is the type of a connection that feels like it feels very rare. It's something special. And I feel like you've not felt this way about a, a person before. This is someone who's going to bring out your inner child here, your, um, your childlike desires here. And it's a type of relationship where you're just going to get lost in. You're just going to, you're constantly going to be in the moment with this person. And I feel like it's the energy, you're going to feed off their energy because they feel really, um, they feel like they're radiating with warmth, with joy. They feel like they're someone who always looks at things on the bright side of life. This is the type of a connection, honestly, where you're going to dance like no one is watching and you're going to sing like no one's uh, listening. And you're going to let your heart and your soul fly free. And this is someone whom you're going to absolutely fall in love with. You're going to fall for this person head over heels and this person will find themselves falling for you. So get ready to catch them, okay? Um, so whatever obstacles you may be experiencing right now, it's only temporary, okay? You have to be confident and you have to trust the universe and you have to trust yourself here. So if you've been out of touch um, with yourself and just with the universe here try and check in with yourself because I feel like there are so many wonderful things that are coming for you you have to be patient though I'm seeing you have to be really patient with where you are because sometimes where we are is exactly where we need to be to get to where we need to go and where you are might feel a little bit stuck a little bit stagnated it may feel a, a little uncomfortable a little painful here but it's helping you grow and it's preparing you for the wonderful things that are coming your way so understand that everything is a blessing even if sometimes it doesn't quite feel like it um but more about this person wow i feel like you have truly something very special this is a new beginning and this new beginning is only going to come about after you cut ties with someone or you release someone's past energy past hurt or past pain okay because some of you are still living on the in the past and this is what's making you unhappy this is what's making you feeling stuck because you're living in the past the past is long gone you cannot recreate the same moment twice and why would you want to because what i feel like what you have ahead of you is something truly magical wonderful it's something so liberating and it's going to help you liberate it's going to liberate you from the shackles of your past 
the way that this person makes you feel, it will be like on top of the world. So I do have some things that I want to explore in part two of this reading, which I feel if you don't necessarily pay close attention to these things, they might potentially hinder this connection from happening. They may potentially stunt the growth of this connection. So I do want you to, I want to caution you against some things and I will make that available in part two of this reading. But I just want you to know that this person, I truly feel like this is, for those of you that have experienced love, I feel like you know what I'm talking about. You'll have love on your brain. You'll feel like you're high on a drug that is love. Um, for others of you, if you haven't yet experienced a love like this, then you've got something so wonderful. This is the beginning of something wonderful. I'm also seeing... Um, I'm also seeing incoming emotional messages, but to me it feels like, I don't know, are they from two very different people? Okay, and we'll explore that in part two of the reading here. So thank you guys as always for watching and listening. Please show your support by liking, sharing, subscribing. Um, if you're after a personal reading, please feel free to reach out. Otherwise, if you're interested in part two of this reading, the extension link will be made available below. Bye for now.